sí, hace tiempo que ya llegaba. Si quieres lo tomamos, te lo doy. Eh, ¿cómo está? What's up, everybody? The city meeting is going to start a little bit late today. Hey, what's up, guys? You can make a statement right now or not yet? Well, the, 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 the chief, he put out a memo um, denouncing the, the commission for something improper that they did for getting involved in an internal affairs investigation. Did you see the memo? I have, I have it right here if you want to read it. All right. So I guess we'll talk about that later in the commission meeting. City attorney. Yo, Carlos, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? I need to do a public records request. They told me to come to the city attorney's office. And what is it that you would like? I would like all the mayor's emails for September the 24th sent and received. No, I, I'm allowed to file my records request anonymously in the state of Florida. Florida statute 119.07 allows me to file my records request anonymously. I could give you my contact email, but I'm not giving you my name. Okay, no, that's fine. The contact email. How am I supposed to get it to you, sir? If I don't know who you are, then your contact email is perfect. You're the city attorney. You better know Florida statute 119.07. Okay. Can you please give me I, I, could give you, I could give you my records request verbally. Of course you can. So I would, I would like all of the mayors. You know, Okay, I'll, I'll provide you my contact email. So, if you could get me that information, I would I'm going to verbalize it to you and you can write it down. Okay, so let me get a pen and I'll do it. Thank you very much. Sir. Excuse me? Florida Statute 119.07. I'm allowed to file a public records request. These rap bastards don't know the law. No, you're going to write no, it because... No, I can't write it. I'm not your I, I've, I've, I've done this before. You know how many public records requests? Look at this lady, how unprofessional she is. Super unprofessional rat lady. Listen, lady, here's my here's my email. And I, I told you what I would like. I verbalized it to you. Yeah, Don't expect much from her. Down. Okay, on, that's fine. So I'm going to need all of the mayor's emails sent and received for September the 24th, 2021. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's why I told you to write it. And and everything I'm everything I'm asking is in accordance with Florida Statute 119.07. Okay, everything's fine. What's your email again? R-A-T-T-O-N-E-Y-S. Okay, and Yeah, and then okay. I'm going to need all, all of my, yeah, for Mayor Francis Suarez. Email sent. And received for September the 24th, 2021. September? What? 24, 2021. 24, 2021. I might have to file a discourtesy complaint for you putting that paper on the floor. And I'm allowed to file a public records request. Well, I'm here. You can also um, let us know more information. I gave you all the information you need. Lady, right. I've done this. For, yeah, for Mayor Francis Suarez. Thank you. No, thank you. I appreciate your time. And you sent me the invoice to that email. What's up, guys? How's everything? Guys, we're here at the City of Miami Commission meeting. It's a special commission meeting because the the chief is a rat bastard going crazy, bringing the tyranny that he, that he had in Houston, bringing it to Miami. 
So let's send this rat bastard back to where he came from. Guys, you see that lady over there? She's sitting right there. She's running for mayor. She's running for mayor of Miami, but the commission sued her for some reason. I have to ask her what that lawsuit was about. The commission sued her because she's running for mayor. Seventeen seventy six. Espera, tengo una pregunta. Oye, déjame hacerte una pregunta. Ellos te pusieron una demanda. ¿Y por qué? Oye, son uno, son uno. Is hand pick the hand pick the judge. Pero tú vas a estar, tú vas a estar en el, tú vas a estar en el vale, tú vas a estar en el vale. Mira, a un favor, da, dale tu social media, tu Instagram, tu... <laughs> eh, eh, ¿El Facebook una vez más? Mayra Feliz. Running for me. Ajá, exactamente. Gracias, gracias. Tiene 40 personas en vivo. Nos vemos, gracias. She's running for mayor of Miami, guys. She's better than all these politicians. This is the former mayor, Carroyo. He's trying to get rid of the chief of police. So I'm gonna be with him on that mission. We got Officer Delva, YouTube favorite. What's up, Officer Delva? Sorry about that, man. That's okay. So I came up to the second floor and um, this is the mayor's office. 
office of the mayor. Gracias. Damn, three cops for one guy screaming. Damn, good job, guys. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Me robaron 120 mil dólares con intento de asesinato en mi contra. Esto sí es una mafia. Esto sí es una mafia. Tenía un Nensery próspero. No lo perdí porque hice nada incorrecto. Al contrario, tenía un, tenía un crédito de más de 100 mil dólares. Y cuando estaba en un proceso con American Arbitration Association reclamándole los 120 mil dólares, Sergio Fernández vino a quererme matar a mi finca con más de cinco oficiales. Una mafia. Esto es una mafia y no se está investigando porque saben verdad que yo tengo pruebas para enseñar lo que estoy diciendo. Es que hace falta que se entere porque no puedo gritar. Espérate, espérate. ¿Por qué no puedo gritar? ¿Quién puede gritar? Claro, yo no te estoy molestando. No hay nadie aquí para escuchar la gritería. No hay nadie allá adentro. Adentro, pero aquí afuera no. Exactamente. Pero no mira, está aquí, él está aquí presente. Él está presente. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué te molesta mi gritería? Si no es contigo. Que te molesta que yo haya perdido los siento que me hayan robado. No lo toques, no lo toques. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Yo te puedo escuchar todo lo que tú quieres. Yo te puedo escuchar todo lo que tú quieras si yo escucho tú también sabes, a la gente. Yo grito y escucho también, dígame, señor. Tú sabes que contigo hemos sido más que liberal con las cosas de los santos. Sí, hay una liberal, gente... pero ¿por qué si yo estoy usando la constitución? Me tú no estás haciendo ningún, tú no me estás haciendo un favor. ¿Me vas a dejar hablar? Sí, pero claro, dígame, conmigo ha, ha sido qué, tú la dices. Le, la ley aquí Ajá. dice muy bien ¿Sí? que tienes que estar a 100 pies Ajá. de la entrada. Ajá, Así que ahora te voy a pedir ajá, que cojas tu sangre ajá, y te miras 100 pies ajá, de aquí. Ajá, y si no lo haces, ajá, vas a tener y, y tú y tú Y tú, aparte de eso, tú estás leyendo lo que dice aquí, tú estás queriendo okay. investigar lo que dice aquí. Yo sé, te dejo ¿Eh? aquí toda la semana, tú vienes y, y no hay problema. No, no, de vez en cuando vengo. Ok. Entiendo, para reclamar mi derecho, para reclamar lo que, lo que me ha pasado. Que de aquí 100 ¿Eh? pies de la entrada. Si no estás de y tú, entrada, y tú, y tú, yo, yo, no, yo sigo tus leyes, fíjate, pero tú vas a seguir las mías. Tú vas, tú vas a hacer esto. Tienes que moverte 100 pies de la Tú vas a hacer esto, mi señor. Tú si, vas a intento si no asesinato mueres, en mi contra. Si no te quitas 100 pies de la entrada, te voy a sacar. ¿Cómo me vas a sacar? Si yo estoy en todo pero, mi derecho. Pero, ok, tienes todo tu derecho, pero tienes que estar 100 pies de uh -huh. aquí de la entrada. Ajá. Así que te puedes parar. Así ¿Y tú vas a parado. investigar a Sergio Fernández, criminal Sergio Fernández que trató de matarme? ¿Eh? Wow. First Amendment. Uh -huh. I heard, we heard you, we heard you. Okay. La mafia no le gusta, no le gusta la constitución. No, es que no le gusta cuando, y no es con usted, señor, no es con usted, pero la mafia, esta gente no le gusta cuando uno, tú sabes, los lo denuncia. ¿Ve? Sí, 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 yo lo voy a hacer. Yo lo voy a... O sea, ¿Dónde está ese pie para usted? ¿Dónde usted cree que está ese pie? Más o menos, porque bueno, yo no tengo metro para medirlo. Mira. Eso lo que tú sabes qué? que lo... hoy me quisieron sacar porque ahí está dentro el chief. El chief está diciendo de la mafia. ¿Dónde me puedo parar? Ahí donde empieza el murito, donde empieza la rotonda, aquí, aquí el mismo, aquí, en, en el carro este primero, aquí. Antes, en la hierba, ahí donde empieza la hierba. Pero me meto atrás de los carros, no me pueden ver. Oye, what, what, what ordinance, what ordinance says, what ordinance says that he can't have his sign there? What's the ordinance? La mafia, brother, la mafia. 
me, está, me han destruido. Me han destruido. <risa> pero fíjate que eh, la, no pueden hacer nada, pero mira todo lo que dice estos carteles. Tú sabes, mira todo lo que dice estos carteles. Muy, 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 muy Dale, papá, nos vemos ahorita. Yo, my man, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you're gonna have to step aside because you can't be walking in front of me like that. You got that, pal? Yeah, I got it. You see, one thing that we need in the city of Miami is transparency. And this one in the past few years, some people might not create some doubts that we are interfering with the, the, uh, uh, I mean, the departments and we into the administration, etc., etc. Thank you, sir. He got in front of my camera, so oh, that's how we're gonna do it. I'm sorry. Can we pause for a second? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yo estaba grabando y él se puso al frente de mí. Man, you saw he got in front of me. I have the first commemorated record just like this. Okay. Yo, this, this gentleman walked okay. right in front of me okay. and I was getting coverage. Can you do the same to him? So let's I'm, see. I'm a journalist too. So, um, you know, in, in the memo, it's basically a pattern of practice that he's documenting. And these are allegations of official misconduct. And you're mentioned inside it along with two other commissioners. When you read through that memo, what went through your mind? Well, to my mind, I mean, immediately I know that the, the status and constitution of the city of Miami. I know that we are allowed, for example, we are allowed, every time that a budget comes before us, you see, we have the power, according to uh, uh, the, 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 the statute, to, uh, I would say, add, delete, and question the number of positions you have, and, and try to, uh, I mean, how much money you're expending, because we are the ones that vote and decide on the budget. You see, that is totally, totally our, our uh, I mean, our right. And, and uh, the uh, city attorney, she clearly stated that everything that he has said in the memo doesn't have any base because the statute allows us to do it. everything that we have here. And you asked for, in the words you used, an impartial investigator. Absolutely, absolutely. An investigator that has nothing to do with us, with the administration of the legal department. You see? Or with them. An investigator that should be hired or uh, by the or picked by the by the uh, uh, the uh, city attorney, and uh, I am proposing an ex FBI agent that I know that is a very uh, I mean I would say that a professional and uh, has a track record in Miami, and I would like to have him, him or somebody like him just to uh, start a complete investigation of our what we are doing what he is doing and how he got into that this that, that position that he has what was the process or lack of that was uh, used to bring him in and every, every all the allegations that have been placed even by the FOP he had an accident he didn't have an accident and well, I mean his behavior while being a chief of police because he has done things that are unbecoming of the police Given how much it sounds like there is to investigate, have you all considered maybe reaching out to Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office and seeing if their public corruption task force should... But that would be a possibility. What came to my mind is we have to have transparency and we have to clear the air. And the only way that we can clear the air is with a thorough investigation. Investigation that includes us too. Now, if, they, if the outcome of today is commissioners kind of pressing the city manager to maybe terminate the chief, have you consulted with the city attorney's office in terms of legal exposure and the I, taxpayer cost of that? I am not going, and I personally, I'm not going to pressure the city manager to make a decision to fire anybody. I just want everybody to know, and if there is grounds for dismissal, I want it to be found, and then we go within the law, within the statute. Oh, you got it already?
Okay? Everybody needs a second chance. If not, he wouldn't be up there. That guy beat his wife. I have a daughter. Would you like him as your son-in-law? No, right? I didn't think so. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. He's, he's walking out. Don't touch him. Desde las 9 y media de la mañana estamos aquí, empezaron a las 11 y cuarto. Carrollo lleva ahí cuatro horas hablando, hablando, hablando. Con el hablando sí, de, 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 eh, Reyes hablando de Google, que Google, que, que Google a Carrollo, un hombre que le ha dado golpe a su mujer, que es un corrupto, que lo han votado, que donde todos los lugares que va, lo único que casa es caos, un problemático. Esto me parece el Congreso, que la tiene cogida con una persona que tiene integridad y track record. ¿Qué track record tiene ese hombre? Darle golpe a su mujer, lo han votado cuántas veces, lo han arrestado. ¿Y ustedes Eso, vieron... Ese es el que lleva tres horas lesionando a nosotros. ¿Y ustedes vieron para hablar a favor de él? Es que han venido más de 10 personas para hablar a favor de él. Desde las 9 y media están aquí y, no, y ahora quieren break for lunch por una hora y media. ¿Su nombre? Carlos Alonso. Él sabía. Señora, usted estaba esperando a que él sabía. Usted estaba aquí esperando para que Carlos, 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 es mi tía y una hablar a favor del jefe de la policía. ¿Tú conoces al jefe de la policía? Lo queremos, lo queremos mucho. Lo único que ha hecho desde que empezó su carrera ha sido el empleo. Let me close the door so they can get through. Yeah, go through, go through. Que ponga a cubo a caballo. Lo han votado de todo el lugar donde estado, todo el estado, y va a venir a hablar, nos va a lesionar a nosotros. Oye, vamos, de las nueve y media de la mañana aquí, ahora hay que esperar hasta las dos y media, para poder uno hablar. Había más de 30 gente aquí a favor de jefe de la policía para hablar de su favor. Y todos los tenemos que. Pero eso es a propósito, eso es a propósito. Esto es un shakedown, como se llama. Un shakedown. Si el City Manager no lo vota, lo van a votar a él. Esto es todo lo que está pasando. Un shakedown. Guys, gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Ten cuidado, que va a cerrar la puerta. Dímelo en inglés. Ah, un momentico, veo. Está aquí bocado. Yo no hablo en los canales estos. Los oponentes, y están haciendo lo que siempre hacen. Los oponentes, y no quieren escuchar de los comentarios. Y de nuevo, están usando y abusando de su oficina pública. Mientras que en nuestra ciudad tenemos problemas reales. Unaffordable housing, inequality, crumbling infrastructure, and day after day, meeting after meeting, they make an embarrassment out of our city and the commission. I, I applaud the police chief for exposing the corruption, the embarrassment that this commission has uh, uh, become, and these people need to be investigated, and the full fury of the Department of Justice needs to come on their heads. My name is Lawrence Lee. Yeah. 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 I'm a sí, third yeah. property owner. I give them their job. And they deny me of our due process. Chief Ojo Severo has never been convicted of a misdemeanor or a felony. So why are they talking crap? You know, president has been cited for charges, but they were never found guilty, and they're still president. So what are the business of a Miami police department? They want to talk trust. What about Chief Timothy? Uh, remember Chief Timothy from New York? Uh, no, I think, I think he, he committed a crime. I think so, right? What's your name again? Lawrence Lee. L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E-L-E-E. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I pay their salary. You know? And they want to silence him. Who is the communist? Huh? They're the communists. I pay taxes. I give them their job. They don't do nothing for me. All the billionaires come here. My tax property keeps going up, up, up. What do they do for me? Nothing. Holes in the street, garbage in the street. Uh, uh, and now the new chief, he come to clean up the city, clean up corruption. And the first thing they want to do is fire. Why? Because you speak the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. 
Dios va por let's, el capote la otra. Wow, la corrupción que hay aquí y lo está detallando. Porque esta gente son unos corruptos. Nombre completo. Tomás Kennedy. Gracias, Tomás. Tommy Reyes, T-O-M-M-Y-R-E-Y-E-S. I'm the president yeah. of the Miami Fraternal Order Police. Just a simple question. We've heard, obviously, people who are for the chief, people who are against him. What do you hope the outcome is? So just to speak on that real quick, one, one of the things I wanted to say there, and I just got busy, was the reason why you see more officers here speaking in favor of the chief, because they're not afraid to do so. The cops that are, are, are not in favor of the chief can't come here and speak against the chief because they're afraid. They're afraid for their jobs. They're afraid for their safety to do so. Uh, I've gotten plenty of those phone calls about your back is going to come after you. So that's, you know, that was something I wanted to say. That's why you see more that show up in favor versus not in favor. Um, and then to your question, which was, again, the outcome. What would you hope the outcome is? So it's, it's not a personal thing. You know, I'm here and I represent uh, with my retirees over 2,000 members, active police officers over 1,200. And it's not personal for me. It's, it's I'm doing my job. And, and they, they, I think, don't want them here. I think those surveys have made it crystal clear. Um, and the, you know the outstanding numbers. I think 79% of your employees, and I, I don't always like to think about as police officers. These guys are employees. These guys and girls are employees, just like any other any other business, right? And when 79% of your employees don't like the boss, there's a problem. You're not you're not going to be able to function properly. 
the, the wheels are not going to turn as smoothly as they should when you have a boss that's now at 79% disapproval rate. Ultimately, for example, the decision will be back left back to the city manager. Yeah, ultimately it'll be the city manager. He's one of the people who brought him in. He did. So, do you think this is I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know where this is going to go. I, I like the city manager. I think he does well for the city. I think uh, that Ardas Vedo is a snake oil salesman. And I think he, he sold a bill of goods that he can't deliver on. Anything else that we're missing? I think that's all. Thank what you. about the vote of no confidence? That's for going through for sure? No, no, that, that's what we presented today. 79%. All right, perfect. Yeah, Thank you. 79%. Appreciate your time. Thank you. You didn't get a copy? I'll get you a copy if you want. Thank you. I'll, I'll get one later. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa, so get it in video. I'm telling you now, you come back in, you'll be asked for trespass. Okay, you come back next meeting. No, but he, he mentioned me by name. If you charter, you can get a rebuttal. Okay, no, sir. Right now, you've been asked to leave, and you're going to have to leave. Please. Thank you so much. Is he being trespassed officially? Yes, he has. Thank you so much. For what? What'd you do? The commissioner mentioned me by name, smeared me. You did a good job today, bro. Thank you. I'll see you around, man. The officers are used as their own police force. That's pawns. They're pawns, like in the chessboard. You, you, he, he didn't do anything wrong. Hey, remember me? Yeah. Wow. Damn, he didn't do nothing wrong. I was an event last week. Huh? Yeah, I got a That guy did a you picked out two. Hey, don't worry, man. So I got you picked out two. Oh, man, he was about to come out and he ran back. <laughs> he ran back. <laughs> He was about to come back out and he ran.